I love them just because of their personalities. They're highly intelligent, and uh, as a trainer, that means um, that, that sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult, more challenging to work with, just like if you have a really smart dog or even a cat at home and they're constantly outthinking uh, you and your reactions. Turkey vultures are very large, long-winged birds with bright red, unfeathered heads we've been seeing more of on Vancouver Island over the past 30 years. Turkey vultures are relatively poorly studied and poorly understood, and one of the, the most fascinating things about them is that we are seeing a range expansion. We're now seeing them as far north as the northern tip of Vancouver Island, and their range is spreading across southern Canada as well, so we're seeing them in places like Saskatchewan, uh, so across the prairies, even a little bit into Ontario. Turkey vultures are not much smaller than bald eagles. Their wingspans reach over a meter, and they can weigh up to two and a half kilos and live up to 20 years. Turkey vultures are very social. We'll see them uh, during the non-breeding season in communal roosts, and so you can see hundreds of turkey vultures within uh, a few clusters of trees. Don't bite me. Don't, 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 don't. When he is feeling bored or like I'm not paying enough attention to him, he's uh, quick to tell me that. <laughs> they don't have vocal cords and so they can't communicate using their voices like many of the other birds. And so for them it's all body language and posturing and unfortunately nibbling, which if you're a turkey vulture and you have thick feathers, that's fine, but <laughs> you're the trainer, not so much. They reach maturity around five years of age and generally raise one to two chicks. Both parents work together to raise the chicks and they are excellent parents. They provide a lot of parental care and they're very dedicated to raising their chicks. These scavengers inhabit a variety of open and semi-open areas, finding food with an acute sense of smell and sharp eyes. They have a really important role here on Vancouver Island, helping to clean up all those little animals and bigger animals that die either um, on agricultural lands or along our highways. While not much is known about the vultures that are calling Vancouver Island home for the summer, populations in other parts of the world are on the verge of extinction. Vultures are the most endangered group of birds on the planet and unfortunately not everyone thinks that vultures are the cutest, the most lovely animals out there. Uh, and so their crisis, their decline often kind of gets overshadowed. Scholars say 90% of the vulture deaths are preventable because humans are causing them. In other parts of the world, like in Africa, uh, people are poisoning carcasses and putting them out for unwanted nuisance species, such as hyenas and wild dogs. Unfortunately, they don't discriminate against vultures. In India and in Asia, the decline is primarily attributed to an anti-inflammatory medication that's given to cattle called diclofenac. And even though vultures have the capacity to digest and destroy all types of um, pathogens, even really nasty diseases like uh, rabies and anthrax, they can't actually digest this anti-inflammatory medication and it kills them. Without the aerial cleanup crew, feral dogs took up the role of scavengers and diseases such as rabies exploded, taking a human toll. India has the highest rates of rabies now uh, of anywhere on the planet and they see about 30,000 people dying every year from rabies. They're not pets, they don't like to be touched and you won't like it very much either if you try, so keep your hands to yourself. The biologist and falconers at the Raptors have hosted fundraisers and special vulture themed talks and flying demonstrations to raise awareness and promote protection of these species. We're hoping that by bringing these vultures up close and personal, by giving people an opportunity to see them closer than they ever would get a chance to see them in the wild, that we're going to change people's opinions about vultures. Most of the turkey vultures on Vancouver Island leave for warmer climates around the end of September, except for three, Judge Dredd, Jury and Phoenix. Like all the other birds of prey at the raptors, born and bred to do one job or another and raise awareness for all. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.